What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the best point guard build on NBA 2K22 current gen and NBA 2K22 next gen. So sit back, smash that like button, buckle up your seatbelts, and let's get right into this action, man. All right guys, so we're gonna start with the best current gen point guard. Now look, here's something that you guys should note. If you make your build a shooting guard, you will get a few more badges. But like me, I don't personally like doing that because in Pro-Am, I like being an A no matter what, and I don't wanna get messed up and be a B or X or anything like that. So. I would recommend making point guard if you want a few more badges you can go shooting guard the hand does not matter the jersey number does not matter now let's get into what does matter and that is the skill breakdown now there's several different pie charts that you guys can choose from and you guys are more than welcome to pick the pie chart that fits you the best in my opinion you can go with the pure yellow you can go with the half yellow half green this is what a lot of comp stage players use a lot of comp stage guards but now that the game speed has been patched and the left right is not as prevalent in my personal opinion the best build for a point guard is the primary blue small green the reason i think this is is because this build can do everything that those other builds can do right but it can get contact dunks okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get into that we're gonna max the driving dunk max the driving layup max the close shot and you're gonna leave that alone with 16. okay now from here what you're gonna do is you're gonna max your mid-range max your three-pointer and max your post fade now your post fade does not have to be maxed if you're playing pro-am if you're somebody that plays pro-am you're more than welcome to put your free throw up it kind of just depends on what game mode you guys are playing if you don't play pro-am obviously don't waste attributes on free throw and if you do play pro-am you should probably put your free throw up because otherwise you're gonna be missing a lot of shots from here max that pass accuracy and max that ball handling and we currently have a spread of 16 16 13 from here max the perimeter the lateral the steal the defensive rebound and the offensive rebound and that's going to get you guys a spread of 16 16 13 6 really 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 good spread now here's the thing you guys are more than welcome to change this up as you guys see fit if you don't think that you need 16 shooting and you think you'd be fine with 10 you can take down your post fade if you don't think that you need to have close shot you can take that down there's different ways that you can play around with it and if you make this build a shooting art again you will get more badges so if you guys are somebody that's just playing park and you know you won't have a lock that made his position a point guard then make it a shooting guard for the extra badges okay now let's talk the important stuff okay the body shape doesn't matter okay body shape does not matter pick the one that you think looks coolest for the height six four or six five now that's going to be dependent on what you want your wingspan to be because you need to make sure that you have the pro dribble moves okay so look you are going to go 83.2 on the wingspan because as you guys can see it's currently an 81 at 99 overall you will have 85 ball handling which is all the pro dribble moves which is what you guys need to have to be successful when it comes to handling and as you guys can see an 82 driving dunk which is going to get you guys contact dunks with a 90 plus speed this is arguably the best point guard build in 2k history i'm telling you guys it can do absolutely everything and you guys will have a lot of success if you use it okay now next gen is just a little bit more complicated than current gen guys so i'm gonna give you guys two different builds that way you can be certain that you find a build that fits your game okay so look point guard for the position the hand does not matter the jersey number does not matter now let's get into what does matter that is the height the weight and the wingspan so six six 180 71 okay the body shape doesn't matter pick whichever one you think looks the coolest now let's get into what does matter 50 on the close shot 70 on the driving layup and then a 90 on the driving dunk now a lot of people out there would like this build to have a 92 driving dunk because that unlocks all of the contact dunk packages so if you guys are willing to sacrifice in certain areas be sure to do that me personally i just don't think it's worth it because you have to sacrifice a lot in order to get it so 70 on the mid range that's really green 83 three pointer and then your free throw put it to an 84 if you don't play pro am you don't have to put the free throw up don't even waste points on that put it somewhere else from here 85 pass accuracy you have the ability to get hall of fame bold if you want it but i promise you guys you don't need it somebody that's played with both there's not a significant enough difference in the play for you to put it on so then max your ball handling max your speed of the ball you currently have a spread of 16 20 28 really good start actually guys that just snuck up on me make sure you guys put it to 50 don't get bamboozled so it's 15 20 28 do not get bamboozled make sure you're paying attention or you will mess this build up from here a 90 on the perimeter defense a 97 on the steal and then max your defensive rebound which will take your offensive rebound to a 53 so 15 20 28 22 you're going to max your speed max your acceleration 80 on the vertical and then a 94 on the stamina now as i said before guys this is by far the best build in my personal opinion the only thing that could change 
okay? The only thing that you could change is, hey, let's say you wanted to drop your steel to like a 90, and then you wanna put your dunk up, okay? You could argue that. You could make a case to do that, and you guys would be cool with that. It's totally a preference thing, guys. That's two different ways that you could make this build. I just gave you two different ways to make it. Um, from here, for your takeovers, you literally have every takeover in the game to choose from. As I tell people all the time, pick the takeover that fits your game. You guys should not just be running takeovers that you see YouTubers run. If you guys are more of a passer, run the team ratings boost. If you guys are shooters, run limitless range. If you're slashers, run the slashing run. Run the takeover that fits your game and you will have a lot more success with it. And as you can see, we have built a two-way three-point playmaker with shades of Baron Davis, John Morant, and Lonzo Ball. Now, here we are, my people, and I'm going to show you guys my offensive tank, okay? This build right here is extremely underrated. I posted this build a long time ago. And the thing is, if you guys are not sub to me, you should be because I've been giving you guys the sauce okay i'm giving you guys the sauce. this is one of my release date builds and it ends up being the meta i'm telling you guys hit that sub button man what do you lose so look six three one seventy six seven for the wingspan now let's get into what matters which is to setting your potential driving layup put it at 70 really if you didn't want to have a 70 that'd be fine with me because layups really don't matter you're either going to make them if you're open or you're not 90 on the driving dunk 76 on the mid-range and then a 91 three if you guys play a pro-am it's very simple you can drop any two attributes in order to get your free throw up if you're not playing pro-am you don't need free throw now from here 85 on the pass accuracy hall of fame bullet passer is not significantly different so i personally don't run it max ball handling max speed with ball and then from here max speed max acceleration max stamina okay now if you guys don't want to have max stamina don't have max stamina so at this point you are a 96 overall and you have the ability to put defense where you want to okay so as you guys can see i could get up to an 87 steal if need be so put it where you believe so look i will go ahead and drop it down to a 78 to get the gold interceptor and then i would put the perimeter up to like a 66 if you guys are guarding hash if you're not guarding hash I'd probably put my pass accuracy up or something to get more badges. So it's all kind of based on what your role on the court is going to be right here with a spread of 17, 28, 31, and 10. This is a really, really, really good build. And I'm telling you guys, it can do a little bit of everything. You will be an offensive tank and you're not a slouch on defense, guys. It's actually pretty easy to get stops on this game now. As long as you have the ability to steal passes in the lanes, you will have a lot of success on this game. I just recently posted a badge video that goes in depth on every badge that you guys need to be successful no matter what build you have that will pop up in the top right hand corner of your screen right now so make sure that you guys go check that out if you need to know what badges to run and guys that is the end of today's video guys i hope that you enjoyed if you guys found the best point guard belt in nba 2k22 smash that like button if you're new sub to the channel guys and drop a comment guys i do respond to every single comment and i do have the best content on the game that will help make you a better player so if you're new make sure you check that out you guys will learn a lot and you guys will get a lot better at the game i appreciate you guys for watching and as always it's your boy chalk stay tuned for more and i'm out peace